LR, the liberal redneck here. Coming to you from a country where the Christian nationalist movement has gone totally off the rails. They do not want the separation of church and state. They want to eliminate state altogether. This happened in Europe, and history called it the Dark Ages. Forget the Constitution. They want our country to be governed by their version of the Holy Bible, which bears little resemblance to the actual Bible. They ignore the words of Jesus when he said, It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter heaven because that is contrary to their prosperity gospel, which they created to justify their greed. The same applies to Jesus throwing the moneylenders from the temple. Money is sacred to these people. They lament cancel culture, claiming they are being silenced by the opposition, when the reality is they don't hate cancel culture, they invented it. Religion in America is on the downhill side as more and more people are disgusted with the overall image it projects. The lure of tax-free money has long been a magnet to the less scrupulous. Today, the media is filled with a variety of con men pleading for cash to do God's work. In most cases, God's work involves filling their own pockets. They revel in an ostentatious display of their immorally obtained wealth. One preacher was recently robbed of over a million dollars in jewelry he was wearing while preaching the gospel. Children in this country are going to bed hungry, and these charlatans could care less because God really wants them to have a new private jet. Then there are the sex scandals, many of which involve minor children. This past year alone, at least 10 Texas pastors, former pastors, and youth ministers were arrested, charged, or convicted for various allegations of sexual abuse of children. And Texas is by no means the only place in this atrocity. The Catholic Church's response to this problem for decades has been to send the violators to a new parish. This just gives them a fresh crop of victims. Charlatans and pedophiles do not represent the majority of Christians. But until they get serious about cleaning their own houses, they will continue to see the overall decline in new members. Another problem with the Christian nationalist is their involvement in politics from the pulpit. Even though it's against the law, they were instrumental in electing the worst president in the history of our country by urging their followers to vote for Donald J. Trump as part of the Sunday worship. The majority of Christians believe their God is about peace and love. But until they rid their ranks of the undesirables, they are facing a very difficult uphill battle to survive. Thanks for listening.